Meg forced to leave YouTube headquarters after CEO repulsed Meg begging to take down her lewd videos. Recently a short video is going viral on YouTube and social networking sites. It's a clip of Meghan making love to ex-boyfriend Rory McIlroy. As soon as this video was becoming the hottest and most searched topic, Meghan immediately contacted YouTube headquarters to ask to take down the clip. However, all of them refused. Furthermore, Meghan Markle worked as an actress before she met Prince Harry four years ago. Before the Duke and Duchess of Sussex started dating, Markle starred in the movie The Ultimate Guy's Girl. Clips from the movie recently resurfaced and they feature Markle wearing skimpy clothing. According to New Idea, Markle is begging YouTube to take down the clips shot by Men's Health magazine in 2013. A source told the tabloid that the suit's alum can't stand the video and it makes her cringe. After all, Markle took part in the film while she was still finding a place in Hollywood and she's also open to doing anything so that she could get the attention of producers. But now that Markle is married to Prince Harry and she's supporting a lot of causes, she wants everyone to forget about the raunchy clips because they don't make her look good online. The source said that Markle is already having a hard time getting people to take her seriously and seeing these raunchy clips will just make it more difficult for the public to respect her. And having a raunchy video that's highly accessible is not going to help improve Markle's reputation. The tabloid claimed that Markle's rep already asked YouTube and Men's Health magazine to remove the video, but they allegedly refused. After all, the video already has over 1 million clips and still counting. As noted after the incident, Meghan's marriage as well as her career plummeted, all brands to cancel her contracts, not a single filmmaker agreed to work with Meghan, and Meghan unilaterally ended the marriage. Thus, from a rising star, suddenly stigmatised by Hollywood, some big stars like Angela Jolie, Amal Clooney, husband George Clooney, and many other A-listers all cut off contact with Meghan. In other news, publicity of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's award has sparked a major amount of suspicion. Daily Mail's diary editor Richard Eden made these admissions to host Joe Elvin. He started by addressing the suspicious nature of Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Award and claimed, Sorry, I don't want to be too suspicious, but it does make you suspicious if they've cooked this sort of prize. It comes, I think, four days after William and Catherine are in Boston. You know, as you say, for getting involved with the JFK Library and getting the Earthshot Prize or giving it out and announcing it. Then, you know, something for Harry and Meghan a few days later. It all seems a bit weird as if it's got caught up in some sort of Kennedy politics. At this point, the host chimed in to say, cynics might say, not me, that they wanted Harry and Meghan at this prestigious award and getting the award, they had to think of a way to make that something. In Mr. Eden's eyes, clearly it's got them lots of attention, we're all talking about it and maybe that's what they want. They want, you know, attention for their organisation, so good luck to them. But I don't think we really need to pay too much attention to this, you know, so-called human rights award.